Top 10, top I got a top 10, 10. Top 10. Got my motivation high for my top 10, my top 10. Gotta learn from the wise women and men Need motivation? Watch a top 10 video with Believe Nation. Hey, it's Evan Carmichael, and this channel was created to help you overcome the number one challenge that is holding you back, a lack of belief in yourself. You watch these videos because you know there's something more inside you. You've got Michael Jordan level talent at something. So get ready to always follow your passion, disrupt the industry, and do what you love with Kimball Musk and my take on his top 10 rules of success. Enjoy. Okay, let's kick it off with rule number one. Always follow your passion. We have a mutual friend of ours, uh, Bill Lee, who has this phrase that doing, starting a business from scratch is like chewing glass and looking into the abyss. <laughs> it is really, really hard. And if you don't like your glass sandwich, you're gonna have a miserable, miserable life. And so it's a very important lesson. Do what you're passionate about, because no matter what you do, if it's making a difference, it's super hard to do it. And so you better enjoy, you better be passionate about it. Rule number two, disrupt the industry. What do you think is wrong with the way Americans currently or in the past have gotten their food? The two different paradigms in food today is industrial food, which is frankly food that doesn't taste very good. It's high calorie, low nutrients, and real food is a way to think about food that is better for you and tastes better. The opportunity we have, the challenge we have in front of us is real food for everyone and technology now enables it to be delicious. There's certainly better tasting than food that's shipped across the country. And in a city like New York, almost everything is shipped across the country for most of the year. And so we came up with this idea to do indoor farming in the city. And we're doing it in Brooklyn, 10 farms, the same containers you see on the back of ships. We turn them into an indoor farm, the equivalent of a two acre outdoor farm in the heart of Brooklyn. Rule number three, do what you love. I started the kitchen and it was a huge success, um, but by, by measures of the businesses that I'm part of, you know, uh, through my brother and, and, and other companies, they're, these are billion dollar companies and a restaurant is a really awesome, very proud of the kitchen, but a small business. And um, uh, I just kind of got sucked back into tech and so I joined a few other boards and I started a software company and w with some friends and you know, I just wasn't enjoying myself. It wasn't that I didn't like it, I liked it, but it's kind of, you know, if you go from something you, you love, which is food for me, and you go to something you like, mm. it's like chewing sawdust every day. <laughs> you know, it's just truly, if you know what you're missing, you can't, you can't miss, you can't go, you can't um, avoid it. So I had a very serious accident um, in 2010. Uh, I went down a ski hill on an inner tube and I um, tube flipped and I landed on my head going 35 miles an hour. I broke my neck and uh, I was paralyzed on my left. It was Sunday, Val Valentine's Day of 2010. Wow. And um, on Tuesday evening, they were rolling me into the operating room and, and I just said, you know, if, if, if I can walk tomorrow, then, then I'll just focus some food. And I uh, woke up the next morning and I've never looked back. Rule number four, always be positive. When SpaceX started, I think the first three rocket launches weren't successful. Yeah. And, and, the, and the fourth one was. Um, what would have happened if the fourth one hadn't worked? We would have failed. Yeah. But, but let's talk about the, one of the, the, the failures were spectacular. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I, so I would go out to the island, the Kwajalein with Elon, yeah. and seeing giant exploding rockets is quite an amazing sight. Uh, and I was one of the early investors in SpaceX, and I said, you know what, if all I get to do is to see these rockets explode, it's well worth every dime I put into this company. <laughs> there, there's something to be said about brotherly support. <laughs> But it was an amazing thing to watch uh, what Elon would, had built with those rockets in, I mean, on a shoestring in the middle of nowhere, and literally the middle of the Pacific, 2,000 miles from Hawaii. Uh, and uh, that experience, we'd fly in these, these what are they called? Are the, what are those? The Hueys? Helicopters? The Hueys. You're flying the Hueys. You feel like you're right out of, out of uh, Apocalypse Now, flying to Dr. Evil's Island. 
uh, really amazing. I mean, yeah. and again, worth every penny, still to this day, I'd say. <laughs> so uh, I, I think the failures were actually unbelievably exciting to be part of. Also, if you want to have more self-love, check out my 254 series. It's free. The link to join is in the description below. It's important to associate with people that are better than yourself. My ability to only be comfortable in massive chaos has been my biggest asset as an entrepreneur. Like, I would never take a f-ing note. Like, that scares the piss out of me what these three people are doing right now. Rule number five, reach out to interesting people. What's the one thing you'd recommend for first-time entrepreneurs when it comes to networking? So one thing that I've done, uh, and I continue to do this to, to this day, is since I was 18, I would read the newspaper, nowadays I read whatever's online, and I find people who are doing something interesting that I really care about. And I reach out to them. Back in the early 90s, I was picking up the phone and calling them. It'd be amazing how easy it is to actually reach these people. And uh, about one out of 10 of them would say, yeah, they'd love to be happy to meet me. And out of that, 80% of them would not be that useful. But the 20% that were useful, I kept as mentors and friends my entire life. So it's absolutely worthwhile doing. So find out who you truly are interested in meeting. And if you really are interested in meeting, there's a reason. That's probably the reason why they want to meet you. Rule number six, focus on trust. Chipotle had had a lot of troubles after the E. coli outbreak. Um, in uh, 2015. What went wrong there? Chipotle is basically pioneering real food at scale. There has never been another restaurant company of their size to do real food. It's just not even close. Anytime you get to up to that scale, you're, you're just doing a factory food, food system. There's no, no, no real food in the system. So they've been pioneering, and, and, and so they've, they hit a speed bump along the way, and now they're probably the safest food restaurant in, in, in the world because of all the learnings that they, that they went through on that. But on the trust side, you know, trust is the currency of our generation. If, if you break trust, expect to be punished. Mm-hmm. But you don't get to choose not to participate. You, you either build trust or you go away. Hey, right, so in the case of Chipotle, they are doubling down on trust. It's not a, in a, next door without uh, total transparency, we're doubling down on trust. If we do do something wrong, we will be punished for it. That's the real world. You know, in the old days, before the internet, before the sort of uh, amount of information that, that's out there, you could get away with a lot of stuff. Rule number seven, stay on your toes. I live in a small town in Colorado called Boulder. And uh, my, my joke is I grew up in South Africa during the collapse of apartheid. Very, very difficult time. Then I went to California during the rise of the internet. Exciting, but difficult time. Then I was in New York City during 9-11. Difficult time. Now I'm in this little small town in Boulder waiting for some serious shit to go down. <laughs> uh, so I think those had a uh, very big impact on me and I think the, the, the impact personally is constant uh, uh, paranoia, I guess. It's maybe it's better. I hate to say that, not in a negative way, but it's, uh, you're just kind of, you know, you're waiting for something really intense to happen all the time. So I think that just keeps you on your toes and, and keeps you moving forward. Rule number eight, hire proper people. When someone comes to look for a job with us, uh, they'll say, well, I gotta make money. So great, what's the pay, salary, job, whatever, that stuff. That's the bar. Then the next bar is, who am I gonna be working with? And if you're working with A players, then you pass to the next test. And the final test is, is this a mission that I care about? Do I really wanna wake up every morning and, and, uh, and, and really put my all in? And if you can have all three of those, if you can do, you can be paid properly or paid competitively, it's not, not necessarily paid more, just competitively. If you can be surrounded by A players and you have a mission that you care about, you, you will have people lining up to work, to work for you and then that flows to where the customer is, you'll have customers lining up to, to buy a product or use your, use your brand. Rule number nine, be authentic. For the young entrepreneurs out there that are just getting started, what are a few benefits that they can find from you know, paying attention and really caring and growing their online brand? I think be authentic. Uh, don't pretend something's interesting. If it's not interesting, don't expect anyone else to care. Uh, but if you're interested in it, probably actually people will be interested. So be curious and uh, take pictures and record what you're up to, record your thoughts. People do like it. And rule number 10, the last one before a very special bonus clip, is protect your brother. Speaking of your of your brother, 
Do you think that when people see him from, from the outside, not knowing him as well as you do, that he can come across as not normal in some ways? I, I think he's not... His, he wasn't first in line. Was, let's say he's first in line in, in, you know, when he was born for engineering skills. He wasn't first in line for social skills. But that doesn't mean that he's not a great guy and of course very not. awesome and all that stuff. But, yeah, I mean, I think after a while, he, he, he's always, I think he's actually gotten, as weird as it sounds, he's gotten, gotten better in interacting with, uh, with, with folks as he got, as he gotten older. When he's younger, he's so focused on engineering and, and, and um, making a difference. I mean, you know, just, just lo- so many cool things there, but, it, but it, uh, over, as he's gotten older, he started to appreciate more the connection to family, connection to friends, connection to people. And- now I have a special bonus clip on how to have role models that I think you're gonna enjoy. But before that, it's time for the three point landing questions. Let's go from just watching the video to taking action. Here we go. Question number one, what can you do today to be more positive? Number two, who are three interesting people that you can reach out to? And number three, Who's the next proper hire that you need to make in your business? And if you promise to take action after watching this video, we don't just watch videos anymore, we do something after watching them. Give me a hashtag believe down in the comments, make that promise to yourself, and then get to work. Are there people you you look up to? I I think the the two that I look up to in my way, I look the same thing as Enos, kind of look back. Uh, I love Winston Churchill. Yeah, he's cool. (laughs) He's the, <laughs> that guy, I think, is, was one of the greatest gifts to mankind. And I think Steve Jobs. Right. Yeah. And I think the thing that, that makes me like these people is that they put their passion into their work, and it's not about the job. It's not about coming to work. It's about creating, making a difference in, in your society. And I think that that's what, what I've, I've always admired, with my brother and with anyone else. If you want to know Elon Musk's top five pieces of advice, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. There's a friend of mine who who says, like, starting a company is like staring into the abyss and and eating glass. Um, And there's some truth to that. 